I wanted to ask a first question, which the sister already asked about the Gospel of Barnabas. I wanted to ask why it's not mentioned in the Bible, but I'll leave that to your side. My second question is regarding crucifixion, which you mentioned uh, very briefly in your could talk. Could the brother please uh, raise his voice, inshallah? Or, okay. or could the brothers yeah. with the volume raise their mic? Yeah. It mentions in the Quran, وَمَا قَتَلُوهُ وَمَا سَلَبُوهُ وَلَكِنْ شُبِّهَ لَهُمْ Which means that they did not kill them, nor did they crucify him. But it was, it was uh, made unto them. I want to ask, what does the Quran mean by but what it was made unto them? Jazakallah khair. <coughs> what the brother has quoted the verse of the Quran from Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse 157, which says that they said in boast, we kill Jesus, son of Mary. They killed him not, neither did they crucify him. It was only made to appear so. And all those who differ is full of doubts. With only conjecture to follow. For surety they killed him not. So they asking the question that if Jesus Christ peace was not killed, wasn't killed, what happened to him? What happened to him? And the Quran says he because the Christians most of them they believe that Jesus Christ peace be upon him was crucified. So your Allah clarifies that he was not killed, he was not crucified. It was made to appear so. Made to appear so means it was made to appear so. How it happened? When Allah does not want to give us the details, why should we actually strive to know the details? And Allah says that it was made to appear so. And all those who differ, there are many hypotheses that come that there was a man who was put instead of Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, maybe it was Judas or maybe it was a Roman soldier, there are many hypotheses. But when Allah says, he was not killed, he was not crucified, he was made to appear so, all those who differ are full of doubts. Illa tiba zan, with only conjecture to follow. So when, what difference does it make, even if you come to know what happened, what difference does it make in a faith? So when Allah does not want to reveal, Allah says he was not killed, he was not crucified, that's sufficient for us. If you want to prove to a Christian how he was not crucified, why he was not crucified, and how to prove from the Bible, you can refer to my video cassette, was Christ uh, really crucified? It's a debate. But regarding what happened, for us Muslims it's sufficient, Allah says he was not called, he was not crucified, it's sufficient. What happened to him after that is mentioned. As Allah says in the Quran, the next verse, in Surah Nisa, chapter number 4, verse number 158, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala raised him up alive. So we know that he was raised him up alive. That Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, was raised up alive. And we believe he is going to come again in the second coming, which is also mentioned in the Gospel of John. That he's going to come. He's going to come why? The reason Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept him alive is because he is the only prophet of God whose followers as a whole mistook that he claimed divinity. There is no other prophet of God whose followers considered that that prophet claimed divinity. He's the only one. That's the reason he has been raised up alive, so that in the second coming he can clarify. As is mentioned in Surah Maida, chapter number 5, verse number 116. He will tell in the second coming, Ya Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you bear witness. I never told them to worship me, but I said, Abdullah, worship Allah, Rabbi wa Rabbakum, who is my Lord and your Lord. Similarly, it's mentioned in the Gospel of John. On that day, when people will come and say, Oh Lord, Oh Master, did we not do wonders and miracles in your name? So Jesus Christ, peace be upon you, tell them, E men of iniquity, E sinful people, you get out from here, I don't even know you. When Christians will come in the second coming, Oh Lord, Oh Master, did we not do wonders and miracles in your name? Bible says, Gospel of John, He will say, E sinful people, you get out from here, I don't even know you. He will come in the second coming, not to teach us anything new, our religion, Islam, is complete. As Quran says in Surah Maidah, chapter 5, verse number 3, this thing is complete. Nothing new can be added, nothing can be subtracted. He will come to testify to the Christians that he never claimed divinity. Hope that answers the question. Can we have the next question, please, from the sister side.